Good afternoon, Rick Colin here with TechOut. Within the past couple of days, um, Developer Preview 2 of Android was announced for the OnePlus um, 6 beta. Um, Developer Preview 3 for Android P is out in general for Pixel devices, but OnePlus has um, released Developer Preview 2 with the One Stuff, OnePlus um, Oxygen OS built into it. So this is a stock phone running Oxygen OS with the Android P um, or Android 9 beta as they're calling it in this version. Um, this is a clean phone, no apps have been downloaded, this is stock, just booted up from the in install um, because you do have to wipe your phone to install the beta from stock Oxygen OS. Um, in the first beta I tried this and I went right back immediately. None of the features were working, um, none of the Oxygen OS features were in there yet, it was just a half-baked version of it um, and you didn't get any of the features, it was basically unusable. Um, this one we do have face unlock. We do have all those um, OnePlus features and stuff like that that are working. Um, we have the new menu system in Oxygen OS. Before the menu was just the stock Pixel, I mean the stock um, Android P menu system for the settings. It was a lot of just um, stock Android on the OnePlus that wasn't really working. Just it wasn't compatible really, and it really wasn't able to be used for a daily driver. Um, we had stock buttons up top here that were just like the what they look like on um, like what they look like before they weren't fixed or anything. Now we have the dots that are working and stuff like that. We have all the sliders and everything are working great. Um, you can see the menu looks good. Everything works. You know have your you now have your gesture menu for the OnePlus. So buttons and gestures are back and working. That wasn't in here before. If we go to um, buttons, you can also use your navigation gestures um, from OnePlus. That was not working in the late, uh, in the last build, so that is back and working. The only bug I found so far is the display. I'm not going to change it, but if you change to hide the notch, um, it will put it in a notch on the screen, so it'll basically just black out under that. Um, actually, I'm just going to show you guys anyway. So hiding the notch actually gives you like a double notch. Um, so you can see if we go back home, it's just stuck double notch now, um, which is kind of weird. I don't know why that's happening. And then if you go back to it, that's not the only issue. So it's not that it doesn't work. It's more that if you go back to the regular notch, you get extra double notch. So it highlights the home bar, and you get that. Now if I put the phone to sleep, you can kind of see it correct itself a little bit there. And then, and then it comes back. There we go. Um, so and then it comes back. Actually, it fully corrected itself that time. Uh, last time I had to reboot the phone. So last time I had to reboot the phone, and the fingerprint sensor is working fine. I just need to add my the end of my finger. Um, I was in a hurry. So it corrected itself that time. The first time it did not, and it was stuck with the double notch and the weird. Um, rounded edges right there. I don't know why that is is happening, um, but that's the only bug I've seen so far. Everything else seems to be working um, and is pretty smooth. I've seen that you can change your um, colors on the screen as well, so you can do accent colors, which is pretty cool. So I put it in red here. You can see it themes all the switches and that kind of stuff in a red style and it will also do the buttons. So that's actually really cool. You can kind of personalize that. Um, so that's one of the new features that they put into this. But everything else is there. The OnePlus Switch app is now in there. It's a, it's a fully built um, version of the Oxygen OS you know, skin on top of Android. Um, it seems to be running pretty smooth. I'm going to daily this for a few days with it on here and I'll come back to you guys and let you know how it performs after I get some apps on there and I'm you know, switching back and forth and actually running some different stuff. But right now, it's looking pretty nice. It looks like Android P is going to be a great addition to the um, the build of Oxygen OS on the OnePlus 6. This has been Colin with TechOut. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And have a great day.